What's up guys, Tyler from the MX Factory here. Today we are going to teach the intro on how to whip. This is gonna be for newer jumpers, I should say. Getting consistent with jumpers, learning how to whip. And you know our goal with this channel always is to make you safer and faster. So we're gonna take the steps necessary to keep you safe while doing this. Let's go. All right guys, before we get into the coaching part of this, make sure you stick around to the end of this video. I go over what would be the biggest mistake that would make you crash in this scenario at the end of this video. Make sure you stick around. All right, so the first step in learning how to whip is gonna be understanding good standing body position going off the face. You have to be solid in this. Do not try to whip the dirt bike if you're not solid in your standing position. So I'm quickly gonna go over it. We have plenty more videos where you can find this. You want flexion in the ankles. You want knees in the middle of the bike squeezing. You want hips turned out, flat back, head down. So you wanna be in that good neutral position before you take off in the face. So, all right, so the first step in body position going off of the face of the jump is understanding that we just need to move weight to whatever side we feel comfortable to. So what that's gonna look like is you're coming off the face of the jump and then you're just slightly moving head and shoulders to the inside of whatever the handlebar side you feel comfortable with. So I'm coming off the face of the jump as I'm going up the jump, I'm just going over here and then I'm gonna try to keep knees in the middle and then once the bike flicks off the top of the jump, it's gonna flick in line with my body, it's gonna float and then ideally come back. So you want this motion as you're turning throttle going off the face, you want head and shoulders to move to one side or the other to get that bike to move in the air. All right guys, we're in the air now, the bike's floating. What we wanna think about is since we've popped up here, we've leaned to the inside and that back tire starting to float out, is we don't wanna make a crazy mistake of trying to maneuver it one way or the other. We don't wanna turn the bars hard one way or another. We don't wanna turn this way. We just want the bike to do its work. We gotta understand that what we did on the face of the jump is gonna dictate how the bike floats in the air. So we kinda just wanna loosen up in the air and make sure the bike's floating and able to come back. All right, so now that we're in the air, we wanna talk about how do we land. So nine times out of 10, when you're learning this, you're gonna land a little sideways. If you're not comfortable landing sideways, make sure you get comfortable before you do this on smaller jumps, okay? The big thing is though, when you land sideways, you need to be ready to absorb the impact with your body. So you need to make sure your feet are in the right position, knees are squeezing, and you're ready to land strong. That means that you need to land with good, strong legs as if you were jumping off the tailgate of your truck. The next part of that is make sure you land on the gas no matter what. If you land sideways, especially if you case a little bit off the gas, the bike will bounce back the other direction and you have a higher risk of falling. If you land on the gas, the bike is ideally gonna drive forward when you land and have a lower risk of falling. So make sure you land on the gas and land with good strong legs. All right, so we made it to the end here. The biggest mistake you can make here in this scenario that I don't want you to do at home is getting tense at any moment. Remember, a whip is fluid and you float. You've gotta have your body in that same motion, that same mindset. I need my body to be loose. I need my body to be malleable. I need the bike to float and come back underneath me. As soon as you tense up on the bike, you're gonna stop the moment, the natural momentum of what the bike's doing and how you lean off the face. What the bike's doing in the air, you're gonna stop that. A lot of times when you stop that, that's when you have the big land sideways and then inevitably the crash. So just flow. If you can't do that on just jumping straight, letting the bike float up underneath you, maybe the whip isn't for you. If you guys want a little more free content, we're working diligently to put a free six part video series together for you guys. So click down the link in the description below. It'll be the first one. You click on that and as soon as we get it done, it'll be coming straight to you.